Okay, this is Right On Ron, and here's our beautiful city of Vancouver. Here's the view up in the Red Dog Gantry Crane over at Kinder Morgan. Here's Stanley Park. Here's Lionsgate Bridge. Here's the ship that I'm working. And down below, we have an excavator. There we go. Moving all the cargo into the middle of the hatch. And this is how you drive the crane, everybody. Here's our console on the right hand side. Oh, Mike, are you still going to be a bit, uh, Here's. Here's the cabin view picture of our screen, cabin view. Here's our HMI screen. Here's where we sit. Here's our, all our controls. Here's where I sit and here's the other controls. So I'm going to explain how to do this really quickly. So once you get into the crane, we turn the crane light on. It's that green one right here. And here's the red button to stop it. Turn it to reset it. Turn on the crane. And then we come over here and we hit this button right here. We hit this handle and we hit it all the way to the left. And that tells the computer that somebody's in the seat. Once we've done that, we put our we put our mode selection, we put that in special, and what we do is we lift up our bucket all the way and we take it all the way out the boom and we take it all the way out to the very end of our boom and then we trolley all the way back over the hopper and that's synchronizing our trolley and then we move it back to the middle of the hatch and we take it down below the combings and then we take it all the way back up that's synchronizing the crane how you can tell we've synchronized the crane if you go down to your cabin view if you hit your status here's our synchronization right here hold and trolley it would be in yellow and as you synchronize the trolley in the hold uh, it turns white. So let's put this back over the process view and so we can see our uh, what we're doing. So once we synchronize the crane we put the bucket all the way out all the way over the hopper all the way back to the ship all the way down and all the way up. We turn our mode right here and we turn it over to, uh, over to normal. So we just click this mode and we just turn it over to normal. Once it's in normal, we do our bucket settings, and here's our bucket settings right here. Uh, that's our grab, load, or grab bucket, open and close. And say we want to blow out our lights, we go over here, and here's our lead and our zinc, and we just switch it once and we switch it back. So whatever it's set on, just switch it once and go back, and it'll blow out our settings for our bucket. So what we do is we close our bucket at within about an inch and then we click close. We click uh, close and we open up our bucket. There's our bucket right there. And then we open up the bucket almost all the way to an inch. We click open. With that being done, now the bucket settings are done. We should have two lights and they should be on. And then what we do is after always after we do our bucket settings, our bucket should be over the uh, over the hatch. We open up our bucket all the way, and now we want to set our parameters. How I set my parameters is I have to have the bucket all the way open. I open up the bucket all the way open, and I put it down near the inshore side, just over here on the inshore side, about a foot away from the combing. I press enter. And then I put the bucket over to the offshore side, I click outer. I bring the bucket up over the combing, I click height, just at a safe height, I press height. And once I have all three lights set, I got to enter it into the computer. How I enter it into the computer is by clicking operation adjustment. And that's this button sitting right beside me here, that's operation adjustment. So. Uh, so that enters it into the computer. Now say you need to resize the hatch if, it, if you're going from number five hatch to number, uh, uh, if you're going from number five hatch to number one hatch, we're gonna actually turn this off. I'm gonna redo my parameters, my inshore, offshore height, and then I'm gonna turn the light on. And then this enters it into the computer. And how you can tell is by on our cabin view screen. Here's our cabin view screen. 
we can tell right here what our settings are. Outer hatch, inner hatch, and ship height. And when we're over here, if you click over, oh yeah, I've already showed you that. Okay, so once my perimeters are all set, I'm going to put my bucket on top of the cargo. Uh, so here we are, we're almost getting ready to finish off this hatch. I'm going to put my bucket on top of the cargo. And then over here on my right hand side is my height cursor. I can go down or up. And as I go down and up, you can see that box move. Look at the box. That goes up, that goes over, that goes down. That's because I'm pressing this here. And what we need to do is we always need to set our height cursor just above this triangle of this box. Remember the bucket's down below. So if the bucket's down below the hatch, the bucket should be here. I'm going to put this white box just above the triangle and here's the triangle right here of my bucket and I'm gonna have that just above it so when my buckets down below that's where my height is gonna be set at so that's telling me when my bucket comes into the hatch it's gonna stop just before that okay once my height set there I'm gonna set my other inner and outer parameters and it's right here that tells the bucket to come into the middle of the hatch and if I move it to 25, the next, the next cycle will come a little closer to the combing. And then if I set it to zero, it's going to come about a foot away from the combing. But always make sure you check the setting and the combing. Just cab over so you don't hit the combing and your settings are good. So I always check it from 50 to 25 to zero to 75 to 100. So... I've got everything set, everything set, and on my computer here, how I work my HMI, here's my computer screen here, and here's my mouse. Basically everything is in this area. I need to have this on vessel discharge, it's right up at the top here, and if you can see my black button, it's actually uh, right here, vessel discharge. So I always have it on vessel discharge, as you can see the big screen, and my black mouse is over it. I always have it on this screen. And then everything else is right here. Um, here's to see uh, what hatch, to change the hatches. So I click this button, and here's how many hatches. And that tells me that that could change hatches. And how I do that is I click the arrow, and then I click set. So if I want to go into four hatch, I just click it up twice. It'll go into number four hatch, set it. Okay, once you have it set to whatever hatch you're in, I'm, I'm in hatch number two, and I only have a couple of hundred tons left. I'm in hatch number two, I close this. If I want to start the conveyor belt, right beside me here is a black button to turn off the conveyor belts, but to turn on the conveyor belts. What I have to do is I have to turn on the conveyor belts, always make sure this blue light is 